welcome to meetup group as intelligence and now this meetup we are going to discuss about lstm and implementation of lstm using numpy and using the jupyter notebook for briefly going to start lstm briefly we have to, i'm going brief about rnn cell then i will discuss about lstm cells so the briefly what is the rnn here in rnn effectively used for in the like in natural language processing where sequence to sequence yeah where any sequence there for example sentence for example language model like that so in rnl what is the rnn here what do the output say output and input both are uh, like uh, we can say in the term of uh, technical like whatever t minus 1 time step output and t times bit input feed both at a time so if for in the in, in example i am looking here the t one time t minus one time step this is the activation is there and t time step x is the input is there and w a is the wet matrix of uh, activation a with uh, on the t time t minus one time step and this is the wet matrix for the time step t and both are feed to the 10h functions and that we are getting the output activation at and that output activation get feed to the soft mesh function that getting the final output and getting the final out output there there also one learning parameters is there that call that output weight matrix wya so these are the basically brief about the rnn cell and rnn cell learned from the past uh, past information but the problem is there only the only one step yeah one uh, is don't uh, handle the long term dependency don't handle the long term whatever like for example i am going to bombay and i will stay in the taj hotel so like i am going to the mumbai so i i am talking i and i will stay the will is the plural yeah singular yeah where i can use use like that so that dependency um, should be handled by the model but are un unable to capable the such kind of the dependency for that purpose lstm will be used so lstm briefly i have explained here uh, lstm here so this is the lstm cell here in the lstm here this uh, the upper line you find here upper line is the memory cell line you can say memory cell and the below is this line called the previous hidden state and x t is the current is, uh, is, uh, input at time step t so what advantage here here in advantage there are the three gate is there one is the forget gate and update gate and output gate and what forget gate will do it will the forget yeah uh, deselect the whatever information we have to uh, prevent to the next memory cell and updating gate it will the select whatever coming uh, the information uh, after the for uh, forgetting and it will the update and the next thing next is the finally the output gate output gate whatever final output we have to are getting that for you the output gate and there are the lot of learning parameters there in the equation you will find there okay, this is the equation of the forget gate this forget gate why sigmoid we should here because we have to select a deselect we have to out to like 0 to 1 near 0 1 like that for that we are using sigmoid here in the sigmoid uh, all of the like wf is the it's govern uh, forget get wet matrix and similar w is the govern uh, uh, update get wet matrix and this is the updating cell get met, uh, wet matrix at the t minus 1 and uh, this is the cell state t minus 1 ct is the cell state t minus 1 so these are all of the uh, equation is especially for the lstm cell and finally we are getting the activation using the dot product of out of the gate and 10h activations so this is the and what uh, what will be the output through the uh, soft mesh function where we are we have to feed 80 uh, uh, time 80 activation at time state t to the search mesh we are getting times uh, output of time state t so these are all of the information about the uh, long term short uh, long short term memory that call is lstm networks so now we are going i am going to explain it uh, as a coding part how to implement this lstm forward cell so for that you know uh, for example the sentence is that i am going to the bombay and i will stay in taj 
so this is the sentence so length of for example length of the sentence is the tx tx is the length of the sentence that call the time step t so that time step t is tx there but the complete time step first we i have to build for one time i have to build a feed a forward cell for the one time step for the one time is time sped so for lst cell forward that is called like only the for one time step that is the cell is there so we have to like according to discuss previously i will pass current time step and previous activation that is rn and i already explained and and one more parameter is there here previous memory cell whatever previous memory your yeah, memory state is there that is the previous memory and that is the parameter and what that parameter like your weight matrix of uh, update weight matrix like for bias and update weight matrix bi update bias weight and uh, weight matrix for the first weight matrix uh, bias matrix for the first and as and our uh, weight matrix of the output gate and weight matrix for the relating to hidden state to the output gate so these all of the parameters we have to define that is the parameters and x is the input time step the t and a preview is the hidden state at the time step t minus 1 and c is the memory step at the t minus 1 so they are they are all of these are we are getting as a input of the function parameters and first for this for for whatever you are getting like input well x is the input now uh, i'm going to tell about how we can write a equation using the numpy right using numpy in the numpy you will get the function like sigmoid right uh, like um, np dot tan s like that right so sigmoid function that sigmoid how we can get sigmoid function there is a rnn utility is there already and you can use for the sigmoid function so sigmoid function is there and for dot product np dot dot is there dot for dot product np dot dot here np dot dot here dot product for tan h also np dot tan h is the uh, np dot tan h for tan h also there okay now i come back to the explanations so here this line uh, what, uh you think you right now you are thinking about where parameter we are getting so just just of the information i'm how i okay, i generate the parameter here i'm calling the list uh, cell forward and i create a matrix uh, sorry i create a dictionary of the these parameters right and that parameter randomly are generated as a example only for the example how we can generate parameters and how can we pass for the one time step so this is so this parameter coming from here xt just xt a random 3 3 into 10 size of inputs input sequence and at previous what is the previous just what definition purpose what is definition purpose previous this random function like that so this uh, uh, how we can pass it uh, according to this we can pass right so now i'm going to explain again so whatever safe coming that xt coming from above so that xt coming from our xt dot safe you are getting nx plus n and same wy coming from here so what uh, wy uh, wy dot whatever safe we are getting safe here also now we are concat both a previous um, hidden state at t minus 1 and input at t so that is the funda right give you whatever past information plus uh, current uh, input we had feed to the network that learn from the past and current both so that's so we are concated and then we pass concate plus that update so this is the for um, forget gate this is for update gate this is for updating cell and and using that we multiply both we multiply both according according to this any yani we are you know updating gate and tenets we are multiply both and fit and summation of the whatever uh, after forget get we are getting the output right so dot product of 10 h updating cell or updating gate also so here here both are we are doing here like um, uh, so this is 10 10 h of cct updating uh, um, that is updating cell and the what will be the c next is multiplication of the updating cell updating cell and c preview and multiplication of the uh, updating uh, gate and updating um, cell right so both are 
get or using uh, for that uh, i am show here like both a summation of both like forget get and cd but dot product of this and dot product of this and summation of this that are we are using c next to this is the c next so c next c next is dot product of this and dot product of this so here you are getting here what is c next is dot any you know, multiplication of this multiplication of this this is for forgetting get and previous state this is for updating get and updating cell and finally we are getting the output output is this is the output this is the output so this is the sigmoid or output and finally final output activation at we are getting dot product of that input 10h or of this and and that uh, then a next we have to pass to the sigmoid function uh, softmax function for getting the final output and all of these whatever we are getting information like uh, a next c next a preview uh, previous state current state updating state we pass to the case for the use for the next for the next purpose and we have to return all of this information so in the in this tutorial i am explaining uh, i explain here you how uh, uh, we can create a lstm cell yeah how can uh, implement a lstm for the one time step and for the uh, for forward propagation only and similarly for example for example this is for the one time spec if you want to run it for the tx time spec so this is the example for running tx time time spec we have to build a um, we create a lstm for then x is the input complete root complete input of tx and initialize parameter whatever parameter we are passing right and here we are calling here lstm cell forward whatever written previously no so that we are i am i am calling here and the, that is the for loop for complete time step tx and we are appending all of the sentence that information so this is uh, i am explaining in the brief uh, like how uh, forward cell will work and uh, in the next tutorial i will explain how back propagation of the lstm will work so thanks for watching this video thank you so much thank you